Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the Butterfly app on your computer, so either on a PC or on a Mac. It's very easy and straightforward. I'm going to walk you through the entire process, so just follow the steps and you'll be done um, within half an hour. So, the first thing you do is fire up your browser, so Safari, Firefox, Chrome, or even Internet Explorer, and just go to google.com and type in Blue Stacks. You need this um, program to run Android. Um, blue Stack is spelled as B L U E S T A C K S, so the color blue and then stacks of paper. So Blue Stacks, and here it is. The first result is the one that you need. Okay. Alrighty. Um, once you head to this page, you, uh, you can actually use a shortcut here as well, bluestacks.com. Just type in the URL here, and you also come to this page. So depending on whether you're using a Mac or using a PC, just download the version that you need. Since I'm using Windows, I would download this version. If I'm on a Mac, I would download it here. Um, just click on it. It should give you a file, and with PC, it should be an executable file. Um, so it ends with exe. Just double click on it after it's finished in, um, downloading and just follow the instructions to install. For Mac, it's the same thing, but it's a DMG file. Again, just once you've finished downloading, just click on it and install it. It should take about 10 to 20 minutes to install depending on the speed of your computer and another 5 minutes to actually run um, the first time set up. And once you're done with that, you should have something like this. Um, maybe I will also show you how to start it. So it should have this icon, Start Blue Stacks, and it should be also on your desktop as well. For Mac, it should be on your dock in the middle, and just run it, and you should get something like this. Now, the first time you run it, it might be in full screen like this. Um, I personally do not prefer it to be in full screen because I need to jump from window to window to multitask. So I would toggle the full screen here using this icon. So I simply use my mouse cursor and just click on it and it will toggle. So this is um, an Android interface. If you've been using iPhone or iPad and you've never been uh, using Android before, um, this is the time to actually learn it. It's very, very easy, um, and you can now you have the flexibility to actually use your computer to learn it. Um, this is the home button, so clicking on this right now would not go anywhere, but if I have an app open like this, and if I click on home, it brings me back to this page. And so this is a, a very important button. This is the settings button, which is a gear symbol. This is the sharing button. And this is the one that I've talked about, the toggle full screen. This is an options button or show menu if there's more options. Right now there's none. So I click on it and nothing happens. And this is the back button. So there's nothing to go back to. So I click on it and nothing happens. Uh, when you've first start it, you probably would not have Dropbox, you, you would not have Facebook, you would not have Help, you would not have Twitter, you probably only have these three things here. So the first thing that you actually do is go to settings, Oops. and you should see this menu here. If you want to change language, you change language, but since you're watching this video, I assume that you're an English speaker and English should not be a problem, so I'm going to stick to English here. Um, the first thing that you do is go to manage accounts, and I already have an account here. You probably would not have this, um, but here just add account, add a Google account. So this step is mandatory or else you will not get the Facebook help and the Twitter stuff. Even if you do not need this, you still actually need to enter your Google account. So click on Google and just click Next. If you do not have a Google account, you can create one here. And if you do, you just sign in. 
And once you're done with the in entire process, I'm going to just back off now and go back. Once you're done, you will have Facebook, Help, and Twitter. And if you do not have these, you can always install it if you need it, but um, you probably would not unless later on in Butterfly you need to log in with your Facebook account. Um, the next step would be to go to Help. And here you get something like this. It's kind of like a browser and here you have the URL bar. So just go here and type in play.google.com. So play.google.com and you can click on this and it also, also it prompts a little um, history here and just click here and it will ask whether you want to complete action using browser or play store so here it's very important that you click play store and it should open this window up if you do not have this most likely you need to have Play Store updated, so just let it run the update and eventually you will see this. Then go to the upper right hand corner where you have the universal search icon, the magnifying glass here, just click on it and because I've searched butterfly before, so search butterfly, oops it's not there, Let's search butterfly again, no, not there, if it's not there which is good now because I can show you this. So search butterfly lesbian and there you have it. Okay, so once you get that, just simply install accept and just it's installing here. Okay, now it says successfully installed. Great, so I can either open it up from here or if I head back to home it's already in the icons list here, or the apps list here, and I simply just click butterfly. And uh, right now it seems a little truncated, but it, it's actually good. Um, yours might not look like this right now. Um, it might be similar to your phone, where it's actually slim and tall and very, very hard to see. If that's the case, then go to settings and then go to change app size and make sure that your app settings everything is set to tablet mode since you're on a PC your screen is large so you want tablet mode instead of default because default would make it look like this so that was what I was talking about so everything is minuscule here it's very very hard to see um, I have to change it so make it back to tablet again and there you go so simply log in as you normally do on your phone and you are able to use butterfly on your computer so that's it um, very easy if you have any questions so private message me my avatar is Wendy Allison and uh, hope this would be fun for you all right thanks bye bye